What is up, gamers? Here's Johnny! If you are playing victim and getting lost on the maps, you are not alone. This video is going to help you with orienting your escape routes on every map. Honestly, if you enjoy playing family, this video will also be helpful for you as well to know where items are located and the locations of the exits on every map. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please help me reach the goal of hitting 500 subs by the end of this year by hitting that subscribe button. If you would like to also catch me attempting to escape live, or if you have questions, please check out my Twitch channel, link in the description below. Y'all, I got so lost playing this game when it first came out on beta, but I have taken the time to learn the maps in hopes to help other victims not be so lost when they start the game. I will be covering each exit and the locations of different items needed to go through different exits on each map. RNG does change in the game, so when I mention location of certain items, they may not be there when you play. So make sure to check out all locations mentioned. If you happen to find items spawned in different locations than mentioned in the video, please mention them in the comments below to help all of us victims out. All right, gamers, grab a pen and paper or open a Word document and get ready to take notes to understand each map in TCM. You can escape from each map through the following exits, the tool pick exit, the valve exit, and the fuse exit. Tool pick exit, you must have a tool at hand and then pick the lock. Picking the lock is by moving the tool within the provided screen until it turns green. Then hold or click the unlock button shown on the screen until the door is unlocked. If you were to fill up the bar on the left of the lock all the way up, the tool will break and you will need to gather another tool. The valve exit. You must find the red valve located on the map, take the valve to the water pressure tank, turn the knob, and wait for the pressure to build to the gate. When the pressure is building, it is very likely the family will hear the pressure building and can actually turn off the valve. So just be aware while waiting for the door to open. The fuse exit requires a fuse, a tool pick, and basic math integrated with color coordination. Find the fuse on the map, locate the fuse box, unlock the box, add up the spark plugs in the box to add up to the number while coordinating the fuses. Let's start off with the gas station map. This map seems to be the heaviest in rotation with the release of TCM. The map does seem to be a bit smaller than the other maps, which adds for a bit of a difficult gameplay style. Let's start off with the lockpick exits. The lockpick exits are at the backfields and the compound. Let's talk about the backfield exit first. When attempting to exit from the backfields, you must unlock the gate located at the bridge or the container bridge. After working your way through the gate, make your way towards the rear of the backfield. If the light is red and on, the gate must be turned off at the car battery. Unlock the gate and then escape to freedom. Escaping on the road in front of the gas station seems like a long trek to find help, but hey, at least you're out of the hellhole you were once in. Make your way through either of the gates leading into the compound area. Once inside the compound, you have two options of escape. Through the gate between the livestock barn and the shop back room, or through the smoker room front door. For the gate, you must turn off the generator and unlock the gate and head to the front of the gas station to the road. The smoker room door just unlock the door and run out to the street to freedom. For the valve exit, there are three options I have consistently found for the location of the valve. One located in the back fields near the shack, one inside of the living room of the main house, and one located at the garden shed. The pressure tank has always spawned on the side of the house near the compound. For the fuse exit, I have found that the fuse spawned in one of the rooms inside of the main house. It seriously rotates each room. One in the livestock barn in the compound area. One at the workshop shed or in the shack back fields. The fuse box will spawn in one of two places, either side of the storage shed or inside of the house at the back room. The best way to get to the fuse exit door is go through the tool shed Climb down the ladder and stay to your left hand side. The door will open on the left and you can escape through the tunnel. Up next, the slaughterhouse. 
I feel like this map is a dream for survivors if they really enjoy playing the stealthy way. I think the easiest exit for this map is the fuse exit located in the basement. But first, let's talk about the tool lockpick exits. There are two of them. Located in the parking lot, you will find a tool pick exit gate. You must go through the facilities building. You will need to unlock the facility's back door and one of the doors in the reception room. Unlocking the door in the reception room will lead to the parking lot where the exit gate is located. You will need to turn off the generator and unlock the gate to find freedom. Up next is a loading dock exit. You must wake your way through the slaughterhouse to get to the loading dock. You can enter through two doors leading to the slaughterhouse. One door is located near the valve exit gate, or you can enter through the door closest to the holding pin building. Unlock one of these doors and head to the back of the slaughterhouse to the dock doors. Once you unlock the dock doors, you will make your way through the loading dock area. Turn off the car battery and unlock the gate and escape to freedom. The valve exit. Located near the slaughterhouse, closer to the holding pin building, you will find the valve on either one of these corners. You can also find the valve near the facilities building as you come through the garage. You can go through the crawl space or through the crack closest to the back door of the facilities building. You will then work your way down to the basement and place the valve on the pressure tank. You will typically find the pressure tank located in one of the blue colored rooms. You then make your way to the valve pressure gate exit. Located on the other side of grandpa's shack near the storage container by the water tower. The fuse exit. I feel like the fuse exit is probably the easiest on this map. You will find the fuse at the shack closest to the valve exit, on either side of the staircase at the back facility doors, or inside of the main slaughterhouse. The fuse box will spawn on the wall near the facility's back door, on the back side of grandpa's shack close to the container, or up against the slaughterhouse near the chutes close to the holding pin building. Take the stairs in the holding pin building to the basement, go through the crack in the front of the basement entrance, and the door will be on your left hand side. Now let's talk about my favorite map, the family house map. The house does feel super small. But once inside the house, the map feels huge and makes stealth play that much easier. Let's talk about the tool pick exits first. We will start with the car graveyard exit. There are two ways you can get to the car graveyard exit. Through the back porch door and into the back garden gate. Through the sunflower fields, you will find the car graveyard exit. You could also go through the front door, down the driveway to the barn into the sunflower fields and to the car graveyard. Once in the car graveyard, you must turn off the car battery if it is on, unlock the gate and escape. Now let's talk about the front field exit. This exit feels like the longest run of your life. Located at the end of the driveway in the front fields, you will find the street to escape on. You can get to the front fields through the front doors or through running the entire driveway coming from the back fields. You must make sure that the generator is off so you can run onto the street. The generator is typically found at the front field's middle fence or at the barn. Then run down the great wall of driveway to the street and onto freedom. For the hardest exit I believe on this map, the valve exit. You can find the valve at the shed in the front fields, the barn, upstairs in the house, inside of the luggage room, inside of grandpa's room, or inside of the bathroom. The pressure tank will be located at either the side garden, the back garden, or on the side of the main house between the front fields and the barn. The valve gate is located to the left of the main front door past the front field well closest to the house. Now for what I believe to be the easiest and funnest exit on this map, the fuse exit. 
The fuse is located in several of the rooms inside of the house. You can find the fuse on the main floor in one of the following rooms. The sitting room, the living room, the back porch room, or the bone room. For upstairs, you can find the fuse in the luggage room or grandpa's room. The fuse box will typically spawn in the storage room or in the hitchhiker's room. To make it to the fuse door in the basement, run down the rear stairs to the basement, make a right into the fuse tunnel, stay to your right at the wall, and the door will be on your right hand side. Just stay to your right. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video helped clear up some of the clutter for each one of these maps. Please don't forget to like and comment. Until the next videos gamers, stay caffeinated, and I'll see you in the next one.